President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, is on trial in Delaware. He's accused of lying on a form that's required to buy a gun. The form is published by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives. It asks the prospective buyer a series of questions from their name to their place of birth, to their gender, to their social security number. And then it also contains a series of questions that are aimed at determining whether that person is legally able to possess a gun. And those include questions about whether that person intends to keep the gun for themselves or give it to someone else, um, about whether they've ever been convicted of a felony. People who have convict been convicted of felonies are not legally allowed to, to have weapons. The series of questions aimed at determining whether the buyer is legally able to purchase a gun include one about use of illegal drugs. Prosecutors say that Hunter Biden marked the no box when he should have marked yes. His defense attorneys, on the other hand, say Hunter Biden didn't consider himself an addict of illegal drugs at the time of the purchase. They acknowledge that he had been using drugs around this time as chronicled in his memoir, but at the time of the purchase, he had recently been to rehab and he was perhaps using alcohol or abusing alcohol, but they say he didn't consider himself an addict of illegal drugs at the time the gun was bought in 2018.